This film shows how to optimally apply the sensor bell to a lying passive patient. Uncoil the measuring tape and insert your index finger into the loop at one of its ends. Tighten the tape slightly with the other hand. Now slide the hand bearing the loop under the patient's back until you clearly feel the spine at the tip of your index finger. Embrace the chest semi-perimeter from spine to mid-sternum with the measuring tape and read half the chest circumference of the CM scale. In this example, the value is 50 cm. Each centimeter value corresponds to a sensor belt size. The size here is 104. You will find three indicator lines on the sensor belt surface. One diagonal line on the left hand side, a midline and another diagonal one on the right. Take a can of contact agent, a foam which enhances the electrical contact and shake it well for a few seconds. Start applying the contact agent at the very end of the strip textile of the patient interface and do not stop before you have reached the other end. Make sure the foam is applied evenly. Fold the sensor belt along the diagonal indicator line such that its end points towards the head. Now place the sensor belt next to the patient and spread the fabric as shown. Thereafter, push the folded part underneath the patient's chest. Align the upper edge of the sensor belt with both shoulders. Identify the dorsal process of the prominent 7th vertebra, also called C7. The upper end of the midline shall finally reach C7. Lift up the loose flap of the sensor belt. Lay the shoulder strap over the patient's shoulder and wrap the foam-coated part around the chest just below the armpit. Make sure the midline runs along the spine and the upper edge of the green fabric coincides with C7. Now hold the sensor belt in place with one hand while gently turning the patient onto his back. Pull the folded part of the sensor belt from underneath the patient and close it firmly but not tightly with a velcro from the other side. Run one shoulder strap after the other through the loop at the top end of the central cuff and fasten the velcros. As an alternative, use the lateral loops. Now the sensor belt should fit symmetrically. Looking at the back, the midline follows the spine from C7 on downward. The sensor belt surrounds the chest just below the armpits and breasts. The sensor belt is now ready for use. Insert the rectangular plug on one side of the sensor belt connector into the docking station until it clicks into place with an audible sound. After a few seconds, a green light indicates a successful connection. The monitor provides on its right hand side a field for patient specific data inputs. The sensor belt size on the patient's body is automatically identified. In this example, size 104 shows up in yellow because the patient's chest circumference is not yet known to the system. Therefore, enter half the chest circumference you determined before, thus 50 cm. Once this number has been entered, the recommended sensor belt size is displayed. Once again, 104. Finally, enter the patient's body height, actual weight and gender to individualize calculations. To stop the measurement, do not pull on the cable to unplug the connector. Instead, depress the grey release clips on either side of the docking station with one hand. 
This will eject the plug with a click. The green light will switch off.